It's own food group. Welcome back to New Day. A new book takes a hard look at potential health benefits of omega-3s and how the quest to improve heart health by taking these supplements might actually be harming the environment. The Omega Principle is written by author and marine conservation expert Paul Greenberg, who's here to help us sort it out. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank this you. This is so confusing. It was like, take these things, don't take them. Now they might be hurting the environment. Um, where do we stand on omega-3s? I think where we stand is that right now we don't have really solid evidence that omega-3s decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease. At the same time... After all those fish oil supplements After I all took. those fish oil pills. Yeah, I mean, there's just been one big randomized control trial after control trial and a lot of meta-analyses that have looked at it and they found very weak evidence. But it's confusing because the omega-3 is actually very integral to many parts of the human body. Mm -hmm. Do you know your brain is actually up to 10% omega-3 fatty no, acids? Really? Yeah, I mean, basically the brain is a piece of fat on a stick. And, so <laughs> Sorry to say, and those fats. Um, oh my largely, gosh, I'll never think of it. I know, the same right? Way again. That's why you, sometimes you feel a little thick so, in the morning. <laughs> so, do the supplements help with brain health at all? Well, they they may. I mean, I think that the jury is more out on the neurological stuff than it is on the cardiovascular stuff. The cardiovascular stuff lately really isn't showing the results that right. the industry would, would hope it would show. Okay, but there is a big study coming up that may help us put this to rest, yes, correct? Yes, a uh, big, huge randomized control trial called the VITAL study. And last I spoke with them, coming out in November, I had to publish the Omega Principle before. Right. I mean, I couldn't wait. There's been over 30,000 studies yeah, of Omega-3, yeah. so I couldn't wait for yet another one. And who's before. doing this one? That's Brigham Women's Hospital in, okay. in Boston. Okay, so, and we think maybe later this year we'll know more. I think that will be very uh, conclusive, I think. All right. I hope. Terrific. Anyway. Your book is called Omega Principle. What is the Omega Principle? Well, the Omega Principle is a way of eating that makes us healthy and makes the environment healthier. And so, you know, I talk a lot about omega-3 supplements, but what's I think more important is that we incorporate omega-3s into how we eat. Mm -hmm. And I recommend something which I have sort of, you've heard of the Mediterranean diet, Yes, right? yes. So I've sort of coined the term a pescatarian diet, okay. which is, that, so what is a Mediterranean diet? <laughs> I've heard of the pescatarian. Now no, this, this is, is pescatarian. pescatarian, exactly. Okay. Um, Mediterranean diets just tell us, and this is based on a lot of research, very little animal protein, lots of leafy greens, whole grains, maybe just a couple meals of animal protein a week mm -hmm. will do it. Ooh, wow, I'm way off. I, we all are. Um, a pescatarian diet goes a step further and says, let's make those small amounts of animal protein be primarily from the sea, and let's really look at things from the sea that um, won't harm the environment. So for example, um, anchovies, sardines, herring, these nice oily fish that are really good for us, oftentimes they're just boiled down and reduced into supplements, into animal feed, into fertilizer. But we could just eat them. Well, we could just eat them. So that's a really good one. Very low carbon um, footprint on those fish. Mm -hmm. The other thing I've been really pushing is mussels, clams, oysters, um, which I personally love. Um, Me too. I love coming to Seattle to eat all the lovely stuff that you grow here. Right. Those clean the marine environment even as they get fatter and fatter. They make structure and habitat for other fish. So pescatarianism is basically eat, focusing on those smaller fish and on those mollusks and so forth that are very high in omega-3 fatty acids, but also um, very light on the marine environment. Okay, so that's where the environmental part of this yeah. com comes in. So does it matter to the environment whether I take the supplements or not? Well, it does. And you can, there are omega-3 supplements out there that are not made from fish at all. And what I'm concerned about with omega-3s in fish form is that there is this entire industry called the reduction industry. And every year they boil down 20 to 25 million metric tons of little fish into animal feed, fertilizer, and yes, mm -hmm. dietary supplements. That's a quarter of all the fish humans catch. So uh, the, the human weight of the United States is boiled down into animal feed and supplements. Wow. So imagine what the ocean would be like if we had that extra 20 million tons of fish in the sea. Like think how many more big fish we'd have to eat, which mm -hmm. are good for us. Think how many more whales and seals and dolphins. I think it makes sense to move beyond that. Now, if you do want to keep taking an omega-3 supplement, there are now supplements made from algae because it turns out actually fish don't make omega-3s. 
um, it's actually algae that make You're them. You're blowing my mind I, now. I'm telling you. All and these things. So how do I know which, which supplements are made out of algae? Well, there's a company called Almega that I visited in the course of writing the Omega Principle. It's an, actually an algae farm in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, very oh, how weird is that? Okay. I know, right? You're expecting longhorn <laughs> cattle. It's that you're finding algae. Well, um, they are in the sea. Um, yeah. And um, there's also interesting products. There's a product called Pure Alaska Omega, which is a um, fish oil supplement, but it's not made from direct harvest of fish. It's made from the leftovers. So like when you fillet salmon, mm -hmm. you take the fillets and we eat the fillets, but what do you do with all the guts and heads and so forth? Well, it turns out they're full of oil. You boil them down. So it's a win-win situation, right? You're not killing right. anything extra. You're actually and using that, the whole thing. Yeah, and that's my whole thing is like, Let's, instead of making this a direct harvest situation to get our omega-3s, let's use it as a recycling project. You know, either, either we're getting algae, which is the original source, which won't harm mm -hmm. anything, or we're getting these byproducts. And then there's a whole other thing, which I know here in this, in, in this area, um, salmon farming has been a big, yes. it's been on everyone's Huge. mind. You had that breakup of those big salmon pens and da-da-da-da. Well, salmon are fed, generally they're fed other fish and um, those same fish that go into omega-3 supplements. What I found out in the course of writing this book is that there's this whole way to actually recycle food waste. And you know, Americans throw uh, one forkful of, for every, for every forkful we eat, we throw a forkful of food in the garbage. Yes. I found this really interesting series of companies that's actually recycling that food waste into feed for salmon. Um, so there's a way that we can get away from taking that 20 million metric tons of little fish and out I of the ocean. And I think we'd do it if we knew how. And exactly. the book tells us. Thank you so Hopefully. much. My we'll pleasure. post more Mark. online as well. But it was great to talk to you. Great. And, and also, I will be in uh, Seattle tonight. I am about to say this. <laughs> Sorry. Paul, Paul will, the, you've, you've jumped the queue. Paul will discuss and sign copies of The Omega Principle tonight at 7.30 at Patagonia in Ballard. Thanks very much. Thank you. Up next, a look at the summer's freshest fruits and veggies to nab at the height of the season back after this.